Uh, welcome to Hot Topics TV again, everybody. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. Help this channel to grow. And let's get right into the topic. So Rick Ross says that he'll offer $10 million, $10 million to anyone who will fight Jake Paul. First of all, let me ask your opinion of Jake Paul as a boxer. Do you think that all this is just a facade or this is made up? All this is just about making money or do you think that Jake Paul can actually fight? I've watched them train and I watched them fight and I'm starting to be convinced that something that started out as I don't know how to say it clout chasing something that started out as a spook something that started out as a gimmick that got a lot of money has actually turned into something that's very real. I think he went to the lab and sharpened his skills and has now become a full-fledged fighter that can actually cause some damage in the ring. And I think that people are afraid to fight him. I mean, he's out here calling out everybody that's reputable. Now, that's a double-edged sword because if you're a boxer that's worth your weight, in dollars and cents, you could easily say to yourself, I'll get in the ring and I'll beat Jake Paul's ass. But what if you put your reputation, your career, your name on the line and get in the ring and Jake Paul knocks you the hell out? You're forever going to be known as that dude that Jake Paul knocked out. Remember how he did uh, Tyrone Woodley? Even though Tyron Woodley was more like a W uh, M, uh, uh, MMA mixed martial arts person and not necessarily a trained boxer, even though boxing is a part of his skill set. So Rick Ross says that he's willing to put up $10 million, which is like 8.4 million pounds in British money off his own money in order to make the next Jake Paul fight happen. Now, you know, Rick Ross is a businessman. He ain't putting up no damn millions if he can't see them millions double. I'm willing to bet if he throws $10 million into this, then his payoff would probably be somewhere around $50 million. It's a come up, right? YouTuber turned boxer Paul has been blighted by a series of bouts that have all fallen through. Hasim Rahman Jr., the son of former heavyweight champion Hasim Rahman, was due to fight with Jake Paul at Madison Square Garden on August 6th, but the event was canceled due to a weight dispute between the two Americans. Hmm. Rahman Jr. was already a replacement challenger after Paul's original opponent was Tommy Fury. And he was taunting Tommy Fury. You scared, boy. You pretending that you can't get it, make it into the U.S. All this other stuff. Tommy Fury is the half-brother of world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury and Love Island contestant. He withdrew due to what he calls several issues. On Instagram on Monday, August 22nd, Rick Ross, the big boss, who is also friends with Jake Paul, he shared a selfie with Jake Paul alongside a caption. And a caption says, since everyone seems to be afraid to fight at Jake Paul, and he tagged him even though he was standing right next to him, since everyone seems to be afraid to fight at Jake Paul, I'm down to put another $10 million on top to make the right match happen. What fight would you want to see? He asked the public. Rick Ross additionally told TMZ Sports that the $10 million will be awarded on top of whatever fighter pay is negotiated with the promoters. So if you are slated to make $10 million fighting Jake Paul, Rick Ross will put another $10 million on top of that. So you will end up making $20 million as the purse 
But like I said, in the end, I'm pretty sure the kickback for Rick Ross will be about some 40, 50 million dollars or somewhere in there. Because ain't no way he is just picking up 10 million dollars and giving it to somebody just to fight Jake Paul. I would jump in the ring with no boxing skills whatsoever and bob and weave a little bit, get knocked out in round one and take $10 million on top of whatever else they was giving me. Even if they were giving me $100 to fight, I'll jump in the ring. For $100, then I would have $10 million plus $100. <laughs> so he said that he don't care how the cash is divided between Jake Paul and his challenger. I don't give a damn if he gives you all of it. I don't care if he gives you 50% of it, whatever. I'll put an extra 10 milli on top just to sweeten the deal, just to get you putangs out of hiding so you can come out and fight my boy. The publication says actually that Rick Ross believes that fighters are scared to face Jake Paul after he knocked out ex-UFC champion Tyrone Woodley in December of last year. Honestly, when I saw that fight with Tyrone Woodley, man, I thought to myself, yo, this is some good acting shit. Tyrone Woodley must have been hard up for some money, pause, and, you know, the bills were piling up, and he jumped into this one, and he took a good payday, and he took a dive. That's what I thought that was. But if you keep watching the video over and over, it was a genuine knockout. So now I'm thinking, damn, it looks like Jake Paul could really freaking box. Or is it that Tyrone Woodley can't box at all? Or like I said before, he took a dive. Jake Paul is currently 5-0 in boxing. With knockout wins over each man he has fought so far. Everybody dives to the canvas when Jake Paul is in the ring. He recently challenged fellow YouTuber turned boxer KSI after his opponent Alex Wasabi pulled out of their fight, which was scheduled for the 27th of August after suffering a recent concussion. Britain KSI, whose real name is, uh, can't even really pronounce his name, Oli, it's a weird name, Oli Ajay, Oli, Oli Jide, uh, Ola Tunji, something like that. Anyhow, he responded through Twitter. He says, we will fight on my terms. And when we do, it'll be done on the biggest stage. I'm talking Wembley Stadium, fam. With, with that British accent, I'm talking Wembley Stadium, fam. With a full camp tailored just for you. And I, so that there are no excuses when we fight. None of this short notice shit at Jake Paul. So in other words, he's telling Jake Paul, give me enough time to train. Don't just jump up on me and talk about, oh, come on, let's go, let's fight. You know, give people enough time to train so you can have a real match and then get in the fight, get in the ring and fight a real boxer. <laughs> KSI is 29 years old. He boxed Jake Paul's older brother, Logan, in an amateur bout back in 2018 and then in a professional contest in 2019. The pair drew in their initial clash before KSI won that match, the rematch rather, through a decision. So it wasn't even a knockout. From news to politics, travel to sport, culture to climate and all these other things, you already know. Get your news right here. Check it out, man. End of the day, my question to you is this. Do you think that Jake Paul is a legitimate boxer? Or do you think that this is all a way of laundering some money or a way of actually making some money? I think nowadays people don't even care if it's real or it's fake because we're living in a time where real is fake and fake is real. So people just want entertainment. And if he could step in the ring and make some people dive, then that's entertainment and exciting for everybody out here. Just make it look real and we'll pay for it. That's what the crowd is saying because his, his fights are generating serious amounts of cash. Catch you on the next video. Y'all already know it's Hot Topics TV. 
And if the topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.